Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we welcome back Retro Fighting with Capcom's soon to be released Capcom Fighting Collection to be released on your favorite console or PC. Once you take a look at all the titles released in this 10 game fighting assault, you begin to take a look at all the fighting games that came from Capcom that they have ever made and wonder why wasn't certain games on the list. Other than owning most of the titles for my Sega Saturn and Dreamcast, the only game here I would check out first would be Red Earth, as I have yet to play that game at all. After that, I then start to look at the games I never played. Due to licensing and probably waiting for the Versus collection of fighting games, I found that Tatsunoko vs. Capcom is a game just like Red Earth that I have yet to play. But why did I miss such a game? Two pretty easy reasons. I did not own a Nintendo Wii at the time, and I gave no credit to a game since it was on the Wii with motion controls. How the heck was Capcom fighting game going to perform on a game needing precision and accuracy for combos that the Versus games employed in the past? Boy, was I surprised after I bought the Wii from my friend for about $50 and then finding a copy of this classic game never to be heard from again after its release. Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All-Stars was developed by aiding and released by Capcom in 2008 for release in arcades in Japan and on the Nintendo Wii. Following the immediate success from the 2D vs series like Marvel vs Capcom and Capcom vs SNK, this was to be the first game to be designed and fully rendered in 3D visuals. Still designed as a 2D fighter as far as gameplay goes, it is based on a simplified 3 button attack system that was inspired by the Wii itself and the Versa system. The game is a tag team fighting game and is played in 2.5D but restricted to 2D fighting plane. Each character has a unique special attack that do require complex control inputs just enough to challenge yourself. If you played the Versa series and or any Capcom fighting game, you'll be right at home. Other than that, you'll find it intuitive and quite simple and addicting once you start to get the hang of things. Before you know it, you'll be easily conducting air combos at ease, just like other versus titles, except so much easier and simple to do. Being released in 2008, I'm unable to play the game online, and with its limited modes, we only get the normal arcade mode, time attack, and survival, and training. To be honest, this is nice, but I'd rather just play the arcade mode and just practice against the enemy AI. The game is on the easy side, and you feel right away this game is meant for gamers who are new to fighting genre as it is almost too easy to beat even on the hardest difficulty. Whether this is the right choice, the playability really leaves a smile on your face as you keep trying out new combos and special supers with every character. <laughs> The 
26 characters are based off of Capcom series like Street Fighter, Mega Man, and Beautiful Joe, combined to fight against the anime series developed by Tatsunoko Production from Science Ninja Team Gataman, Yatterman, and Kashan. Having virtually no idea about Tatsunoko, and probably another reason I never cared for the game in the first place, it is proven why Capcom chose them to partner up with. The game has fantastic design characters that look fabulous in motion and doesn't disappoint when choosing someone unknown. The visuals here is something to behold. Although I wish it was much more crisp, the game shows what the Wii can do and isn't your average Wii game that is one and done. I was very surprised by the flashy supers, combos, and overall look and feel of the game. The more I played, the more I wanted to remake for just the visuals themselves. The characters and environments are so detailed and the developers didn't slouch at all here and really took this project seriously, especially being the first in 3D. Although lacking the overall detail and more powerful PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, we seen with Street Fighter 4 released the same year, the Wii should not be ashamed here, as this game does just as well. As I play the game over and over and over again, I haven't played such a game like this so much, especially on the Nintendo Wii, hours on end. This is a game that, although I never gave a chance, proves that we should not judge a game solely on the console it plays on and give a predetermined judgment. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom gets an 8.5 out of 10. Not the best fighting game, but it truly does a wonderful job with its tight responsive gameplay, easy and intuitive, fantastic visuals, with fun characters to pick from, leaves this fighting game a must-own gem to pick up and play for the Nintendo Wii and or of course the Wii U. That's it for this look at a lost fighting classic, Tatsunoku vs Capcom. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. <laughs>